much, Chris Army. Where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm here to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you like the best Fortnite player you could possibly be. All right, so this season's Battle Pass has some absolutely fantastic skins to really look at, such as the Imagine, Erissa, and Dr. Stephen Strange himself. We're sure you just can't wait to get your hands on these new skins, and we're here today to help you guys do that really quick. Level 200. That's our goal today, guys. So buckle up because here we come with those tips to make you guys rank up super, super fast. But before we do, it's time to get my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, and let's get this going. All right, so one of the most underrated ways to get XP is simply by doing the challenges. You know, make sure to keep yourself updated and formulate a plan so you can hit multiple challenge requirements during a single match of Fortnite. All right, so the best way to really start this off is dedicating a single match to visiting any of the required POI. You know, some challenges require you to land on certain locations, you know, break objects at designated POI, or just collect items scattered around the area. So keep an eye out on the map when you land and try to get these done quickly. Land, grab a vehicle, and focus entirely on hitting all the required areas. You know, when it comes to weapon related challenges, make sure that you bundle up these specific challenges, all right? Like weapon rarity challenges, headshot challenges, and damage challenges. And so by grouping these in together, uh, you can make sure that whenever you fight an opponent, you're gonna be making some progress towards all those goals. For season two, there are also some rollover challenges from last season. Like if you haven't completed them yet, then they're gonna definitely provide a whole slew of new challenges that will contribute towards you reaching level 100 and grabbing those four nice Skins. So to start working your way up right away, you can get this done rather quickly. All right, so grinding for the battle pass is pretty cool, but if you're interested in grinding arena points, then you've come to the right place, all right? Click on the link below to visit ProGuys.com and learn some new strategies, techniques, and skill-boosting lessons that can help you guys become like the best Fortnite pro of your dreams. You still need help? Then get in touch with our pros for some expert-level coaching that's going to help you maximize your rank. So, if you're looking to knock some challenges right away and boost up every match, it's gonna start building some good habits, all right? You know, for the latest season of Fortnite, the best place to start is by finding yourself a tank. These bad boys can just mow down anything simply by running them down. Luckily, doing this falls in line with a variety of different destruction challenges and simply by just running things over and just blasting them with your cannons. And so, due to the radius of, you know, the explosions, it's just really easy to get this done quickly so you can just move on to the next objectives. All right, so the second habit that you should always do when the match starts is thanking the bus driver. You know, challenges that require you to thank the bus driver multiple times are just always just popping up on the quest page. So just making a habit of thanking the bus driver will usually contribute towards the bigger goal and just get you one step closer to completing the XPM quest. So there are times like, you know, when we get a little greedy, like we want to hoard as much gold as possible because you never know when you're going to really need it, right? However, if you want to level up, I'm telling you, like if you want to level up fast, don't forget to spend it as well, all right? Gold plays a role in a variety of different possible quests that can appear. And if you're just playing some casual matches of Fortnite, you might be tasked with spending gold, you know, earning gold or upgrading weapons using gold. And so you might also find other quests such as like completing a bounty or using vending machines scattered around the map. So use that gold whenever you have the chance. And once again, you're gonna be contributing towards your challenges, which is gonna make life a whole lot easier for you. All right, so Fortnite Imposters was introduced way back in season seven during the alien invasion. And so since then, it, it's become a staple of XP. And so since then, it's become a staple of XP hoarding and even allowed you to gain plenty of it simply just by standing around and just, you know, AFKing the whole match. Unfortunately, Epic nerfed this by having players who AFK get booted from the match. Luckily, all right, you can still earn plenty of XP by playing this game mode. And if you've done your daily challenges and completed most of the easier quests, you could just come here to grind for more XP. However, how exactly do you get the most out of this game mode, right? For starters, you need to know how the game mode works and how XP is rewarded throughout the match. Like if you play as an agent, your main goal should be completing as many of the mini games as possible before you get eliminated. The more you get done, the more XP you're gonna get at the end of the match. And so don't worry guys, matches don't take as long as battle royale matches. So as long as you keep yourself occupied, you're gonna find this quite easy, all right? Just try to avoid dying. And so if you play as the imposter, then try to get as many kills as possible without getting caught. You know, just like agents have their mini games, getting kills is definitely gonna just boost the amount of XP you receive towards the end of the match. So do this and you're gonna see your levels rising quickly. 
But wait, there's more. All right, you can also earn XP by staying alive during a match, completing the match, and winning the match. So, you know, winning the match is a 50-50 chance, so always stay until the match ends, and don't just rage quit once you die, right? Like, if your team wins at the end of the match, then you're gonna get even more XP for being part of the winning team, even if you died earlier. And so if you wanna know who gets more XP, then you should definitely take this tip and try to get chosen as an agent since the task completions offer more XP than imposter kills. Creative matches are a great way of getting fast XP. You know, even if imposters is a quick way to get XP, you just want to have alternatives in case you feel yourself getting burnt out. Like if you happen to be a good fighter, then consider just trying some of the team deathmatch modes. In these modes, you're going to focus entirely on eliminating players and with XP on, like you can really, really rack up that XP just from getting kills. Like you won't have to worry about having to load up another game for a few kills. Like you can just keep racking these up. And so if you just ever feel like you need to swap over to another game mode, just go ahead and do this. The whole point of trying different modes, guys, is really just trying to prevent burnout and just keep you engaged and earning more. All right, so for this next part, we're gonna dive deep into creative mode and try to find a way to get free XP. All right, so there are already game modes that can help you guys do this, but if you don't wanna sit through an entire match of imposters post nerf, then you might wanna check out the vast list of creative maps. All right, so let's just get you guys started with an example of one of these maps. All right, so for your island code, you wanna enter 6033-2501-2044v8. This code is gonna lead you to a custom island, but you want to pay attention to is the chicken coop and the nearby boat of the dock. The first of these two items is the chicken coop. All right, you're gonna find a large group of chickens just simply chilling in this tiny pen and with the default pistol, you wanna kill these chickens for some small XP boost. However, here is where the XP glitch comes in though. Like these chickens keep responding over and over and over again. That means you could just keep grinding these chickens to keep getting infinite XP, man, without actually having to enter any matches. So the second item on this map is the nearby boat on the dock. So if you jump on this boat, you can get almost 10,000 XP. And if you guys want, you can even reset this XP boost by exiting the island and coming back again. The XP is gonna reset and you can jump on it once more to get the XP boost. Like if you don't mind a few loading screens, then this is a quick way of getting fast XP. Keep in mind, man, XP glitches don't always work forever. So the best way to get on is really keep refreshing search pages. So, you know, you can just get to the glitch before it really gets patched. Really, I mean, it's just about keeping an eye open and just staying on top of things. All right, so before we wrap things up today, don't forget to check out ProGuides.com for pro-level coaching. All right, so if you guys wanna get organized with your daily XP grind, then the best way to do so is to have a solid routine. You know, competitive season hasn't started yet, so you can just focus some time on just getting up to level 200. You should start your day by just completing the daily challenges and just check for updates. And so after you guys complete the daily challenges, you can just hop on to one of the creative modes such as imposters or team deathmatch. If you play imposters, you can, you know, take breaks during the discussion portion of the match, so you can just focus on doing other things that are not Fortnite related. Just make sure that you don't leave the room or you're gonna find yourself getting booted from the match and miss out on all those XP opportunities. Our right, your Fortnite routine should be up to you, but these are just definitely good places to start. You know, as long as you guys have some sense of organization, it's just the same as just grinding for arena points. You know, pace yourself, you know, get as much done as you can per day and then prepare to grind once more. But you guys me where you at? Your motivation guy is back. That's gonna be it for today's video, everybody. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to let all your friends know what's happening right now. Also, feel free to leave a comment and just let us know like what you'd be more interested in uh, learning more about. You know, we just really love to hear from you guys. So remember, getting fast XP is all about knowing where to look and in the most efficient way of just really just fitting that into your day. So just keep grinding and unlock those skins. You could do it and just start just grinding for the new competitive season. Don't give up on yourself. Don't uh, give up on your dreams. Keep going after them. I believe in you guys. Don't forget to check me on my Instagram at yourmotivationguy. See you in the next one. Peace.